like usual, we were driving to a location today that wasn't accessible, but we always keep our eyes open. And I'm glad we did because we found this large abandoned home sitting here. First we thought it was a church because of that, almost looks like a steeple on top. But one of the doors are wide open and it's full of furniture so we're gonna take a look inside and if I do learn anything about it I'll share it with you guys so we just came down that little set of steps We've got a small yard here and a little picnic table or patio table and this house has a pretty Pretty large front porch that is partially rotted. It's actually a uh, electric shutoff notice there. See, this has very tall windows. Light on, we'll head inside. Okay, looks like we entered into a living room. Very old style curtains there. Guess they had a pet cat. Is there dates on the magazines? Ninety-six. Ninety-six. It's a pretty large home, so we have a lot of rooms to cover. I'm not going to waste too much time in each one to show you the basics. I do like that chandelier, though. It's like a wagon wheel. It has <clears throat> looks like a drop ceiling installed after the main ceiling was installed. I used to have this old wood frame furniture. I remember my family had it back in the 80s. We got some lamps here. Okay, we have a very outdated kitchen, but a nice one at that, though. Yeah, look at that. It's like decorative framing. Definitely a... Uh, Definitely a cat lover. Tony Little Gazelle. I remember seeing those infomercials. You can do it. Older gas stove, but still in decent shape. Oh, is this dryer? By the looks of this, it looks like it's partially cleared out. They only took what was of importance to them. 
and left the rest of it behind. It's a nice light, light switch cover. That old linoleum. Okay, so now we have. Huh? Hole. Hole in the floor? Okay, so we have like part two of the kitchen here. So I guess this was more of the laundry room. Even though it has a stove in there. Or maybe a, a large, uh, what's that called where you keep food in? Pantry? Okay. Yeah. And there's carpet on the floor in this kitchen. That wallpaper reminds me of a Cracker Barrel restaurant. I mean, like this is pretty much untouched here. You know, the other spice racks. And just like the one location we visited, what was that? The Starlight Inn. I'll link that video up right now. It'll pop up on the screen, but they had dishes that were washed and dirty dishes in the sink. Grandma's kitchen. Clock stopped at. It's like 133. I'm not going to show it up close, but we have some uh, pharmacy papers there. They're dated 2015. Got a receipt here, 2014. Lots of knickknacks and magnets and everything. Lady Kenmore dishwasher or no washing machine I think top blood washer this floor is partially unstable see the back back door is wide open this old wallpaper <laughs> if you guys know when you buy a picture frame like from Walmart or pretty much anywhere it comes with artificial photos you know generic photos well apparently they decided to keep them in I'm assuming this isn't the family that lived here or the grandkids but oh, maybe they like the photos Okay, here we have a little area off, off the kitchen here. Maybe this was a small dining room. We've got a purse. Or travel bag, yeah. Oh, bingo. Bingo markers. We've got some papers here. This floor is squishy. 2015 so we found several items in the house that are dated 2014-2015 so looks like approximately three four years this has been empty you got your basket of nail polish there this is like definitely your grandma's home because you got a lot of cooking items sewing bingo and knickknacks All right, we take out all the first floor. There is a dirt floor basement, which is pretty much empty. So we're gonna make our way up to the second floor, but just by looking at this, if you could tell on the camera, the stairwell and the walls are a little bit warped. It's almost kind of curving off this way a little bit. And it looks like the paneling, wood paneling walls may be covered in mold. That's what it looks like. So we're gonna take it slow and easy up to the top. Oh, you see this? This top is blocked by a mattress. Hmm. Okay, this is a little unusual. Hello? Somebody had to put that there from the inside, I think. Anyone up there? What do you think? Uh, I saw one night when we came in. 
We're just taking photographs. Okay, this is a little odd. Anyone up here? This is a strange setup. I'm gonna go this way, check these two rooms, make sure they're clear. Hello? I guess the mattress was blocking the stairwell, so we kind of thought someone may be up here. But so far, it's empty. That's a nice lamp. A nautical theme to it. This must go up to the attic, which maybe goes up to that steeple. A lot of rooms up here. Ugh, walking on cobwebs. I got some old eight tracks. Harry Chapman. This bedroom has a linoleum floor. Whole stack of eight tracks there. I can tell no one's been up here in a while because I'm walking through cobwebs. At least that's what it feels like. This is Tina's room. And there's the 8 track player. Boy, look at that. That's screaming the 80s stone wash jacket. Tina 80, Tina 79. This room's pretty trashed. I'm gonna dim my light a little bit. I've got some windows out here. Got some Christmas decorations. Got a sewing machine you said? Mm -hmm. Also got a baby bouncer here. A little bit of everything in this house. <laughs> What's that? What's that? What's this little... By the looks of it, it looks like vandals haven't hit this house yet. There's not an ounce of graffiti and no broken windows. Some of the stuff is tossed around, but for the most part, it is intact. Okay, this is another room off to the top right of the stairwell. Wow, this is like a bathroom, but very odd bathroom. Very low ceiling. You can see my head's uh, you can see my head's pretty close to the ceiling here. This is. Definitely made for short people. They can't even have a shower in here, it's only a tub. No 
no water. And I'm covered in cobwebs. Well, someone decided to leave a present in the toilet. There's all the uh, I think perfume bottles maybe. Soap dispensers. There's a pail of water with a dead wasp inside of it. Hmm. Pretty strange. Alright, we got another set of steps going up to the attic. So we'll make our way up there. Look at that wall right in front of you. It's all like exposed. It's like a weird curved design there. Okay, so it looks like we have a full. What? <laughs> we got a full lock of attic here. Look at those windows, that's pretty neat. It's like a triangle point. You don't see that nowadays. Popular science books, pageant books. Well, this is quite extensive up here. Our footing here. It stinks up here too. Wow. It's much larger than I thought. This is the third floor, I believe. A lot of kids' boxes or toys and stuff, maybe for the grandkids. Look at this old record player. Teletone. There's boxes of the toys here. There's a little tricycle. Old. It's a weird style chair too. Building blocks, alphabet blocks. This is all like empty boxes of the toys here. Little toy chest. Cabbage patch kits. It's empty. It's like some kids' paintings on here. A lot of small rooms up here, but it's pretty neat though. Look at that. What is that? Some kind of dead animal. I don't know if you guys know what that is. Let me know in the comments section. Looks like maybe a rat or something. All these rooms are pretty much finished. They all have those triangle windows. Definitely has like a haunted house or a church vibe to it. Right, let's check out the other rooms. Okay, okay, that's what I was looking for. That steeple. We'll get up there in a minute. There's some sort of I don't know what that is there. Old toys. What's that? Shinana? Alright, I'm gonna kill the light. We're gonna hopefully make our way up here without falling. Very narrow stairwell. Give you guys a look. This is a very tight fit for me. 
Oh wow. Okay. So we're on top of the house right now. And the windows up here are busted out, but this is pretty neat. This is dead center, middle top of the house. This reminds me of like a bell tower or a church steeple. There is a little platform up here. You could probably put a chair up here if you wanted to. Be a neat place to sit and see the views of the town and maybe sit during a rainstorm. All right, I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna let Mike come up here and get a shot of it. Yeah, you can see Mike's making his way up and it's a really tight fit. Oh, there was a trap door here to close. It. Yeah. I saw that. Well, we've explored just about every part of the house here. Uh, we have the first level, second level, third, and then that little lookout tower up there. Right behind me. So there's not really much left to see of the house. I'm going to do a little digging on it. If there's anything I'm able to share, you will see it throughout the video. Otherwise, hopefully you guys just enjoy the tour of this place. It's a very unique looking house. Lots of rooms. Definitely uh, a home of a grandmother who probably had grandkids here at some point. But all in all, it's a pretty cool explorer. So there was a mattress that was blocking the stairwell. I don't know why that was there. Somebody definitely put it there though. And uh, put us on edge for a little bit. We thought someone may have been up here. All right, here's another look from the other side of the house, another view of it. It's a very unique looking house. A lot of trim around it, ornate woodworking there. You can see along the edges here even along the roof edge and that's where we were right up there very awesome house I would guess this is probably dated late 1800s early 1900s it's very cool this is just why it's always wise to watch your stepping you never know when you could fall through the floor And here's one final shot of the side that we came in on. Looks like almost like a stained glass window there. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour of this house. Again, we just stumbled upon it while we were in the area for another location that was not accessible. But we were driving around, kept our eyes open, and this stuck out like a sore thumb. It was, originally I thought it was a church based on that right there but just turned out to be like a little lookout window uh, all in all pretty cool definitely uh, a lot of dated items in there and if I do learn anything else I'll share it with you guys if not at least give the video a thumbs up for uh, sharing it with you guys looks like no one else has been in there at least not many people it's not tagged it's not uh, stripped of copper or anything like that I don't even know if there's even copper in that house but uh, all in all I'm glad we found it and we're able to document it and share it with everyone. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video.